Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Shannon Rose for those of you guys that are new here and today I am going to be answering your sex questions and this video is sure to get demonetized. So right off the bat, I have to say thank you to today's sponsor, which is Boosh. This is a sex toy. It is pretty awesome. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. This is the Empress and it says on the back that it is a clitoral vacuum stimulator. It has a silent design. It is 100% waterproof. It has eight powerful suction settings. It's a USB rechargeable, easy to clean, has a strong lithium ion battery and up to two hours of pleasure. So huge shout out and thank you to Vush again for sponsoring this video because without you, I wouldn't be able to make videos like this. This is what it looks like. It is pretty cool. Let's just take it out of the box. Shall let's do a little unboxing here real quick. <laughs> Ooh, this is like my first impression because I'm opening it up for the first time. So it's very small and sleek, which I love. It like fits in my hand. I can just like stick this in my back pocket when I go to the theater. I'm just kidding. Told you that. <laughs> what I'm saying. Here is the rechargeable um, USB port that it comes with. So funny, right? Like, are you really going to charge this up on your computer, this bad boy? You're just like mm, in your dorm room at college, just fucking like chilling with your vibrator, like plugged into your computer in class, charging your vibrators. That would be me in school because I gave zero fucks, obviously. I think just like breaking the whole stigma of talking about sex. I hate that like this is probably going to be an 18 and over video. Not very many people are going to probably see it even. YouTube is going to try to not send notifications because it has the word sex in it or I'm talking about a sex toy. Like it's just so ridiculous the fact that this gets stigmatized. I understand like it's not an ad friendly video but don't like stop sending notifications to my subscribers that want to see videos like this because you want to censor me. <laughs> I swear this channel is so blacklisted all year. Anyway, this thing is super cool. You basically put it up on your clit and it like sucks. Feels real nice. So definitely huge thank you to Voosh and I really hope that you guys support them because they support me and they support this channel and the things that we want to talk about here and they help it so that I can continue making videos like this. So definitely show some love over to Voosh. I'm going to be leaving a link down below in the description box. They're actually giving you guys 65% off of this handy dandy little sex toy if you guys want to get it so check that out thank you again to them now let's get into this video I feel like it's just like a vibrator chilling in this video this is like such a shannon video <laughs> also we're in our only onesie that we own for christmas time I, I need to get another onesie oh you know what i'm gonna look on tipsy elves website they have such good christmas onesies also i got all these questions from instagram so if you guys are not following me on instagram here it is here's my handle go follow me majority of videos and stuff that i do are over there so if you ever want to ask me questions or you just want to be friends on instagram definitely go check that out i'm like dying at some of these questions that you guys have sent in i just I can't, this is like, first of all, one of them was like, can this be anonymous? Oh my God, it's pretty funny. Oh, there are so many. Majority of them have to do with anal, which I think is also really funny. We'll get into that in a minute. Okay, tips on anal. I feel like I could do a whole video on this. So if you want a video like that, let me know down in the comment section. <laughs> Maybe Voosh will sponsor that one too because that will definitely get demonetized real quick. Let me just give you two of my top tips. I have always been so scared of anal. I did porn for eight years and not once did I do anal and I got offered a lot, a lot, a lot of money. I turned down so much money to not do anal because I was so scared and I had never done it before. The only thing I can think of looking back now is I fucking missed out, man. I missed out on a lot of money and anal sex is amazing. But I think that you can also have really bad experiences with anal if you don't do it right the first time or if you don't do it the right person. Like there's so many things personally I think that could go wrong <laughs> if you don't do it properly. So my top two tips is one, you have got to get super relaxed before you do anal for the first time or just like in general because if you're like tensed up or scared or nervous like it's going to be super painful it's not going to be good so that's my first top tip and then the second tip is in order to get like super relaxed um is to do a ton of foreplay before like for travis and i he is so amazing at like relaxing me he'll like scratch my back give me a massage like tease me and like really like takes a while to like work me up into getting super relaxed and like very turned on. I think that's like huge keys. Okay, so those are my top 
my two top tips but i'll do a whole video on it if you guys want me to so let me know down below and also thumbs up this video if you like these type of videos you want to see more because it lets me know okay what is my favorite position when having sex so regular sex i really love missionary i like being on top that's my fave how is your sex life since becoming a parent what has changed oh my god everything for one my vagina is totally fucked up like i don't know if you guys saw the video like the unedited version where i show my whole vagina and snow coming out and everything i had a third degree tear and i show all of it like i show the doctor stitching me up and my epidural not working and it was painful um something happened not the tear part because that healed really nicely the doctor did a great job but something inside my vagina happened where and i can't remember what it's called and i'm supposed to get therapy for it but i just haven't i don't know why i need to but there's like a, some constant spasm that's happening inside my vagina it sounds like really fucked up so if anything goes in there it's really painful and on top of that i have extremely like severe endometriosis i've already had two surgeries for it and it's gotten just worse and worse and worse and so sex is just extremely painful for me unfortunately so we started doing anal and that is something that's not painful for me at all and a huge thing that is helpful when doing anal or just for me is playing with toys or like having toys so a vibrator or something that's going to stimulate your clit like while stuff is going on behind <laughs> you like that this is where this would be a really great thing also this is a great stocking stuffer because how cute and little is this i should have put this in my stocking stuffer video <laughs> but then that would have got demonetized but this is a great stocking stuffer for like adults and also just a fun like adult gift this is a really great thing i love using toys like during sex i think that like really takes up your sex life like a whole notch because even if you're doing vaginal sex you could still use toys like you can like use them on your butt you could use them on your clit like why you're having sex there's so many like ways that you can incorporate toys and like fun things when you're having sex and i think that is like a fun sex little tip for you guys so yeah this would definitely be awesome for that what is the next question is porn sex really that different from real sex to you this is such a great question they are completely totally different one is for entertainment purposes and you are doing like positions and there's cameras and a lot of times like it's actually not super pleasurable because of the positions that you're in or because you've just been having sex for a really long time and you're starting to get sore down there or it's an 8 a.m call time and you know no one really well not no one but like for me i'm not a morning person wasn't huge on morning sex so like for me having sex at eight o'clock in the morning i was just like not super stoked about it so definitely totally different there was a question in here and i'm keeping everybody anonymous for obvious reasons but um another person had asked like if porn sex was ever like pleasurable and yes absolutely there were a ton of times where it like you know feels great but there are times where it doesn't and so i think that's what sets apart like real sex from like porn sex um if that makes sense who do you feel gives better head women or men this is such a fun question i like these videos i'm having fun are you <laughs> this is funny i honestly don't think it's a gender thing i think that it just depends on the person so i've had girls that are amazing at it and guys that are amazing at it and then some girls that are horrible and some guys that are horrible so i think it's just a matter of the person not so much the gender if that makes sense someone asked how do i feel about trav watching porn i guess i don't really have feelings about it i feel like everyone watches porn or like <laughs> at least in my mind so i would like not feel weird about that at all i do it and i wouldn't care that he does it what was anal like for the first time i can do a whole video story time on this and i actually already plan to it's like on my list of story time videos like my first anal experience and like what it was like so definitely stay tuned for that it was not good like at first i can go into the whole thing but that's why i think it's so important to like learn and educate yourself about sex and anal sex and toys and like just everything that you can so that you go in like prepared and have like a really good experience have you ever been in a relationship with a guy that wasn't super sexually driven this is such a fun question because yes my ex-boyfriend i have so many story times that i have not told about my ex-boyfriend that i feel like i'm ready to now one of them was he was a drug addict and i didn't know and i was living with him at the time and i still didn't know because i was just 
clueless, not clueless, there were signs. One of them was he never wanted to have sex and I would like be like, oh, let's like have sex. And he was just like not into it. And I was not used to that like ever. And so that was definitely someone that was not super sexually driven that I was with. So yes, to answer your question, someone said, do porn stars have real orgasms or do they fake it? I think both. It's like timed. The guy's gonna come, you're gonna come at this time. And so, you know, when something is like timed, like, okay, you're gonna do th these three positions and for this long, and you know, it's kind of hard to like, plan your orgasm for the guys I think it's much harder because like they have to actually come on camera and so for them they don't get to fake it but girls can and I mean you know we're acting so majority I feel like of orgasms were faked if anything like I would have orgasms like way early on on set and then just have to fake it at the end or just like pretend to have multiple multiple you know that kind of stuff can you give tips for giving a blowjob absolutely I actually got a tip from oh my god she's like a legend how can i not think of her name right now i can't remember but i was on playboy um radio like back in the day when i was doing porn and i remember it was an older porn star but like legend porn star how am i not remembering her name she had like a show on playboy tv with another girl let me know if you guys know who i'm talking about in the um comments but i remember randy spears being in there again old school porn star they, they were old when i was like doing porn so they're like really old now you guys or if you're younger probably have no idea who they are but i remember like growing up watching like my parents porn and like watching randy spears she gave me the best advice and it was when you're giving a blowjob to use your hand and do like this like kind of like circular motion like when you like are going you obviously get a lot of spit on it get it like super lubed up and then use your hand at the same time and like kind of like go like this like around the tip like as you're going it works really well i know trust me it works if you don't do it you should how do you become more confident in the bedroom oh this is such a good question i love these questions and there's so many and i feel like i might have to do a part two to this i think the biggest thing is it's all in your head right you know that saying mind over matter you really just have to get in your head be like i'm fucking beautiful i am the shit you know what i mean like you just like really gotta talk yourself up and like make it so that you believe that you're hot and that you're like worthy and you just get that self-esteem up and sometimes it takes more than just like telling yourself like sometimes that doesn't do it you might have to start going to the gym more so that you feel good about yourself you know what i mean like your husband or boyfriend or girlfriend or whoever can think like you're the most beautiful goddess but if you don't feel that way then you're not going to feel good in the bedroom so you in your mind need to not do it for someone else do it for yourself if you know that going to your to the gym more is going to make you feel more confident in the bedroom then go do it if you think a self tan is going to make you feel better do that do whatever it is that you need to do to feel good about yourself so that you can feel confident and enjoy yourself in the bedroom because everybody deserves that has painful sex from your endo made your relationship with travis more difficult i also have endometriosis so i'm really sorry that you have endo it really sucks it definitely can take a toll on your relationship and your sex life and i just want to say this there are other ways that you can have sex and make yourself feel good and make your partner feel good other than having vaginal sex and for me and travis or for travis and i we started doing anal and that doesn't is not painful for me so i would say try other things another thing that you can do and I'm gonna bring this up again just because it's just such a great example is to use a toy. If you might feel uncomfortable like doing anal play or anything like that, maybe you have never done anal before, you just like wanna take it slow, maybe try something different that's different that maybe your partner is okay with. Even if like you are weird about something going in your butt, try using a toy just around the outside of your butt. It's really kind of hot and sexy. And then use another toy like on your clit and have him maybe like lick your nipples, like kiss you, and you can like jerk them off at the same time. Use toys, try different things that are not painful for you so that you can still enjoy yourself. I can still orgasm without having something go inside of me. You just have to like experiment with your body and toys and you know, bring your partner into it so that you guys can like figure out ways to please and pleasure each other. Okay. And then I'm gonna answer one more because I just love these questions so much and they're, <laughs> they're fun for me. Okay, so this one is definitely one that I have gotten quite a bit and it says, are you gonna be open with Snow about your past in the sex industry when she gets older? And this is a good question and I've answered it before but I'll answer it again for people that maybe haven't already heard me speak about this before. I 
am an open book. I always have been, always will be. If this was something that I didn't want Snow to find out about or I planned to like hide or keep from her, I would not be so open about it publicly online, in my books, just like in person. I think as soon as she's old enough and ready to ask questions or anything, I definitely plan to be super honest with her. I feel like if anything, I hope that she'll be able to feel comfortable coming to me about sex questions or like how to practice safe sex and you know stuff like that so yes i absolutely plan on telling her when she's the appropriate age and ready i think that's it um also just a shameless self promo plug uh if you guys have watched all the way to the end thank you so much i just wanted to let you guys know that for a very limited time we have my makeup still in stock so if you guys want to um get that i'll leave a link down below also, my books are available and just again, another huge shout out to Bush for sponsoring this sex question video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Oh, you guys can follow them on Instagram too. If for some reason you don't end up buying them, if you guys wanna like help support our sponsor, go to Bush underscore official and give them a follow on Instagram or like some of their pictures. Tell them I sent you um, because we really appreciate sponsors here that sponsor videos like this. I think they're so important. Topics and subjects like this are so important to be talked about and not a lot of people talk about them and it's just such a shame and it's also a shame that these videos get demonetized and turns make the YouTubers definitely not want to talk about them so we, we really want to show some love to our sponsors. So thank you again Bush. Thank you again to all of you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day wherever you are. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and hope to see you in my next video. Mwah.